Today at Kohl's, I'm going to be trying on dresses, particularly fall dresses. I am super excited to be wearing fall colors again. I love them so very much. If you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say hi, I'm Kathy. I'm really glad that you are here. I make dressing room try-ons and try-on hauls, so I hope you will check out some of my other videos as well. But for now, let's head into Kohl's and try on some fall dresses. I grabbed a wide variety of dresses and headed to the dressing room. First up is this navy pattern midi dress from Lauren Conrad. It is smocked through the bodice and it has puff sleeves. It has a roughly square neckline. I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $68. First of all, $68, that seems pricey to me, even for Kohl's. Second of all, I hate how this dress fits on me. In general, it was too big, but even if it were the right size, I think the proportions were all off for me. The neckline is high, and this is supposed to be midi length, but it hit right at my knees, which is kind of an awkward length. I'm 5'8 for reference on the length. It is lined underneath in navy, but yeah, I'm just not a fan of how this looks on me personally, but I do think it could look better on other people. I do like this pattern, and it also comes in this green floral, in maroon, and in black. Next up is this maroon floral wrap dress from Lauren Conrad. It is midi length and it ties on the side. It is long sleeved with cuffs. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $68. I absolutely love these colors for fall. It's so perfect. The dress itself is cute. I'm not the biggest fan of wrap dresses and the fit wasn't perfect for me on this one. The crossover neckline doesn't have a clip or anything and the sleeves were a little short on me. I also tied it as tight as I could in the waist, but I still felt like the front didn't cross over very much. I would prefer it wrapping over more in the front like this, so just so it's less likely to fly open. But I do like how the skirt is curved, so it's longer in the back and shorter in the front. And besides this maroon floral, this dress also comes in this cream floral and in this navy floral. Next I found this blue floral short dress from Lauren Conrad. The skirt has two layers and it has an elastic waist with a crossover neckline that does have a hook closure. It has long sleeves with elastic at the wrists. This fabric has some shimmer to it and there's a floral in there that's really subtle. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $60. This dress has a wrap dress vibe, but it's not actually a wrap dress. The length is pretty good. Definitely wouldn't want it any shorter than this though. I really like this blue color and I love the subtle floral in it. The sleeves were a decent length and I love the elastic waist for giving some shape. The double ruffle skirt is okay. To me, it's just not necessary, but I don't hate it. This isn't as much of a fall color as some of the other ones, but I still think it's really cute. Next, I grabbed this yellow and brown spotted floral. I think it's a floral. It's from Nine West. It's short with this matching belt at the waist. It has a crossover V neckline that has a hook closure. The short sleeves are a little puffy, and I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $60. This dress has a really unique cut that wasn't as visible to me on the hanger. It has this seam in the front and back that is curved, and honestly, it kind of ruined the dress for me. I just think it's unnecessary. I'm also undecided with how I feel about this belt, but it could easily be swapped out with a different belt, which is nice. The top fit well, I like that it has that hook closure at the neckline, and the length was really nice on me, and it is lined underneath, just pretty high up there. I do really like this pattern and colors for fall, and this dress also comes in this dark pattern, in elegant zebra, in this bigger floral, and in black. Next up is this plum bodycon dress from Nine West. It's a rib knit, it's sleeveless with a turtleneck. I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $40. I don't typically wear bodycon dresses very often, but that doesn't mean that you don't. And so I wanted to try this on because I think it's a really nice dress for fall just in general. I think the combination of the turtleneck and it being sleeveless is very classy. The length was a little weird on me because it hit right in the middle of my knees, so that was interesting. I think this color is so perfect for fall and this dress also comes in black, in blue, and in gray. 
Next is this floral midi dress from Nine West. It has a ruffle at the hem and it has a matching belt. It is sleeveless with a V neckline. There's some smocking in the back and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $60. This dress is a linen blend and I love the way it fit. The low back is really pretty and I love the cut of the v-neck in the front as well. This belt is the same as the yellow floral dress. I just can't decide what I think about it. The skirt of this dress is great though. It is a true midi length on me. This dress could be worn by itself or you could layer a jacket or cardigan over it to add some warmth. Also, after I took it off, I noticed it does have a zipper on the side, which I didn't need to get into it. Besides this floral, it also comes in this black and white pattern and in this light greenish tan color. And if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Next, I grabbed this bodycon dress from Nine West. Because the walls are yellow, my camera made this look brown, but it's actually a golden yellow. It is a rib knit and has puffy shoulders. It has a sweetheart neckline and I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $40. Again, not a style of dress I gravitate towards, but I do think it's nice for fall. These are definitely some strong shoulders, and I like the sweetheart neckline. The rib knit is very soft, but I wouldn't describe it as overly stretchy. The length hit right below my knees. Besides the golden yellow, this dress also comes in this greenish tan, in black, and in red. Next, I grabbed this black and white houndstooth dress from SO. It has lettuce hems and the skirt has these panels to add more fabric in the skirt. It has varying sizes of the houndstooth pattern through it and it has a mock neck. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $36. When I saw this in the store, I thought this would be so cute for fall and for winter too with some boots, maybe some tights, especially because it was a little short on me. It's a very soft and cozy fabric. It was really nice. The sleeves were a good length and I love the lettuce hems throughout. In general, the size small fit okay, especially for this being a junior's brand, but I'd probably go up to a size medium. Besides the houndstooth, this dress also comes in this red floral, in this dark blue plaid, in black, in white, in teal, and in gray. Next up is this brown striped dress from the brand Lily Rose. It is short with a little ruffle at the hem. It has a tie waist and long sleeves with elastic cuffs. It has a V neckline and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $44. So this is apparently a junior's brand and this was definitely too small. It was pretty short on me. It is lined underneath with one of those cami dresses that are attached and it literally took me five minutes to figure out the straps and how to get in, especially because it's too tight. I do really like this brown stripe pattern. It would be really nice for fall. And this also comes in this teal floral and in this black and white pattern. Next up is this pink patchwork dress from the brand Rewind. It is chiffon and it has puffy sleeves. It has a crossover V neckline with a snap closure. It has a thick smocked waist and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $48. I don't really gravitate towards this print, it's not really pulling me in, but I do really like the cut of this dress and how it fits on me. The smocked waist gives it some good waist definition and the crossover V neckline could be opened all the way down, but it's nice to have that snap in there. The sleeves are puffy and very lightweight. The length fit well above the knee on me and I really like this length. It would look great with tall boots or even ankle boots and the skirt is lined underneath that chiffon layer. Besides the pink patchwork, this dress also comes in solid black. Next up is this pink floral dress from Rewind. It is midi length with a ruffle at the hem. It has a smocked waistband, very short flutter sleeves and a v-neck line. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $58. This reminds me of dresses from like the 2000s. I think I liked this more on the hanger than actually on myself. And in general, it was too small on me also, so I'd have to go up to a size medium. The skirt has a slit in it and it is lined to the top of the slit. I do think this color and pattern are pretty, but it's just not the dress for me. Next up, I found this green dress from Croft and Barrow. It's a relatively thick material and it has three quarter length bell sleeves. It has a boat neckline and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $50. This dress is like a poorly fitted version of a dress that some member of the royal family would wear or one that a more mature woman than I would wear like to church. So yeah, I am not a fan of this. It just doesn't fit very well and I don't like the sleeves, yeah. 
Besides the green, this dress also comes in black, available for all of your funeral wearing needs. Hopefully moving on to better things, next I found this chambray shirt dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It has a tie belt and the sleeves are long with a cuff. It has one chest pocket and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $44. I really like the color of this chambray and I like that it has the tie belt to add some shape. The sleeves were a little short on me, but it fit everywhere else pretty well. This dress I think is the first one today to have pockets, finally, but I did feel like the pockets made it stick out at the hips, which maybe isn't a bad thing. Besides the blue, this dress also comes in gray, in tan, and in blue. Next up is this gray floral dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. It is midi length and it has buttons the whole way up to the V-neckline. It has three quarter length sleeves and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $44. I love this dress, definitely the best so far. I love how it's more fitted through the bust but flares out from there. The V-neckline is great. Three quarter length sleeves are perfect for fall. And I love the gray with these little flowers all over. This dress also has pockets, which is wonderful. And I love how flowy this skirt is. So pretty, I love it so much. Besides the gray, this dress also comes in this plum floral and in black. Next, I found this orange floral dress from Sonoma Goods for Life. This one is very similar to the previous gray one, but it has short sleeves instead. I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $44. I have tried on this dress before in a different color, but I love this orange floral for fall, so I wanted to show it. I will say that this one is a medium and I felt like it fit pretty similar to the size small in the gray, but I think both the small or medium would work for me for either of them. I think this would look so cute with some ankle boots. And besides the orange floral, this dress also comes in blue, in green, which I love, and in white. Well, that wasn't as great as I was hoping it was going to be. I feel like it definitely started off pretty rough, but by the end, I really liked those very few dresses. If you want to check out any of the dresses that I tried on today, I'll be sure to link them all down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. You can subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!